Cybertron. Our home. For centuries, life was war. War was destruction, and destruction led to extinction. So, we had to leave our world. Some of us were able to escape our planet, but some, like myself, weren't as lucky. Before we were able to board a ship called the Ark, the Decepticons attacked us and destroyed it. Now, we are stranded on our planet with little supplies. Little energon, little hope. This was our reality now. But we persisted. And in this collection of audio logs, I have documented every step we took since then. If you find this, it means that I, alongside all my comrades, are dead. But know this, we fought valiantly till the very end. We were still recovering from the destruction of the Ark. Cities that were once populated by Autobots were now the Decepticons' territory. We were still mourning the loss of Optimus Prime, and even with Optimus Prime's oldest friend and brother in arms, Ultra Magnus, as our new leader, there was still a sense of hopelessness. Autobots, status report. Energon supply is rapidly decreasing. Perceptor estimates that our supply of Energon will decrease by 23% by tomorrow. I'm afraid that percentage decrease will continue to decline. I've sent at least four scavenging groups out to look for more Energon, but they've usually come back empty-handed. I see. Ratchet? The medical center is full to the brig. I'm struggling and trying to look after all of the injured. Even with Lifeline by my side, we lose at least seven soldiers every day. In summary, we're not doing too good. <sighs> Pro, I would like you to send a team to look for more medical supplies. Yes, sir. Ultra Magnus, your presence is needed at high command. I will be there. Ratchet, hold the fort until Prowl's team returns, hopefully with some supplies. Alita, send out more teams to search for Energon. Dismissed. Just for some context. Although I was not in some of these scenes, I asked some of my friends to help fill in the gaps in these audio logs. Ultra Magnus, sir? Come take a look at this. Perceptor, what am I looking at? What you are looking at, sir, is the first signal that my newly installed Energon radar has picked up. That's Decepticon territory. I don't think that's gonna stop us from investigating. Right, Magnus? Right. Pro, we've detected an Energon stash in the northwest corner of Iacon. We're on our way now. Be careful. Alright boys, we're about to enter Decepticon territory, so be prepared for a fight if we encounter any. Guys! Over here! It seems the Decepticons already found it. Well, we can't just let them take it all. He's right. I say we take it for ourselves. Abandon the excavation. Autobots. Oh, yeah. 
Mind if we join the party? Don't use your gun. If you hit the energon, it'll explode and incinerate us all. Maybe tell that to the Decepticons! You just die. Dino, take him down before he hits one of the energon piles. On it. That's all of them. Let's get this energon before more Decepticons arrive. Look what we brought back. Primus, that's a lot of energon. It's not a lot. There's still chunks of energon in the mine, but we weren't able to mine them before more Decepticons arrived. This could last us at least a deck cycle. That's good enough for me. Good job, Autobots. This is a big win for us. This is the first time I've seen everyone so... hopeful. This win is exactly what they needed after the destruction of the Ark. You, uh, still having those nightmares? They are not really nightmares. They're more like... flashbacks. Well, if you ever need to talk about it, I'm here. We're all here for you. I know. It's just gonna take some time for me to recover. Elita. Optimus, is everything alright? Yes, but the question is, are you alright? What do you mean? Something has been on your mind lately. What is it? <laughs> Am I that obvious? I have known you for a long time. I can tell when you are bothered by something. And yet, you don't know what is bothering me. Hmm. I don't want to question your leadership, but how do you know that we will win this war? Because to me, any chance of winning this war seems to be a lost hope. I understand your concern. I'm not sure you do, Optimus. I know that this ship is... What did you call it? Ah, yes, an Ark. But if we leave Cybertron, where will we go? We have no plan. It does not matter whether we have a plan or not once we leave Cybertron. What matters is that we would be free from Megatron's wrath. We would have peace. To be honest, I don't think peace exists anymore. We cannot lose hope, Alita. If we give up, we will lose. You have to trust me. Of course I trust you. I will always trust you, Optimus. This may not be the life we imagined for you and I, but it's a life worth fighting for. Optimus, it's the Decepticons. They broke through the front lines and are storming the capital. They are here to destroy the Ark. We can't let that happen. And we won't. Hoist, how long until we can launch? About a Grun, maybe two. That will be enough. 
Wheel Jack, activate the arc shields. We will hold them off until we are ready to launch. Yes, sir! Autobots, let's roll. My liege, I regret to inform you that Energon Site 7 has been attacked and raided by the Autobots. We tried to follow them, but they managed to get away. You let them get away with the Energon? Not all of it, sir. Some Energon crystals were left behind. Tell me, Barricade, in that mine. Were you able to find the scroll? No, sir. Maybe the Autobots found it. I'm sure they didn't. If we could find it, it is likely they couldn't find it either. I must ask, Lord Megatron, but how can you be so sure the scroll exists? I know it exists. Because it was written by my old mentor, Alpha Trion. But is it truly worth using all our Energon to locate it? We were lucky to stumble upon that Energon mine, but who says we will find another? Are you questioning my leadership choices, Starscream? I have been questioning it since you ordered us to locate it. The Spark Blade is the thing we need to destroy the Autobots once and for all. Those who have doubts about its existence or power, I swear to you once we find it, the Autobots will be exterminated and Cybertron shall be ours. Now, Starscream, I want you and your Seekers to continue the search for the Relic in the southeast section of Cybertron. Barricade, continue your Energon extraction missions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Soundwave. I would like to be alone for a minute. As you wish, Lord Megatron. <sighs> if I find the Spark Blade, then I can end this war once and for all. If this mission is successful, that this weapon might be a be-all and end-all. I could conquer Cybertron and take what is rightfully mine. I would wipe out all of my enemies. But what is a universe with no adversary to challenge you? I cannot rule a planet without someone to oppose my rule. When there is no adversary, who rivals thy leadership? Is this mission truly worth completing if it means that when I have conquered all, I am left to rust in boredom? No! That will not be my legacy! Yet again, who's to say that I am limited to ruling only one planet when I can rule the universe? Once I have the spark blade and the re-vesselator, I will have the power of a god. I will raise the dead from their resting places and spread my army across the cosmos, colonizing planet after planet. I would have unlimited power. Not even the great Primus could stop me. The universe would bow down to me and my name would be bathed in glory and praise. They would all be proclaiming one phrase, a phrase that solidifies my greatness. All hail Lord Megatron! 